Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I just want to make a quick video and touch on something that's been bugging me since I got my first 3D printer, the Ender 3 here about, gosh, I guess it was six months ago. Feels more like two or three years with all I've done and all I've learned since then. But anyway, that pet peeve of mine is this. Is this method of dragging the spool across a stationary chunk of plastic pipe. That's, uh, you know what, maybe the stepper motor's more than strong enough to pull it in, but that just, to me, that seems like it's adding drag when you really don't need drag in the system. You're going to have some drag here pulling filament across something like that, and some drag again down here as it gets pulled in an angle into the into the feeder mechanism. So I thought, well, and then I got the Alpha YZ20 over here, and that came with this laughable piece of junk as a spool holder. Great printer, I love the U20, but this was just a joke. I, I don't think I ever used it once, or I think I maybe I used it to print one thing when I first got it. But then I discovered this on Thingiverse for it. This uses four skate bearings, and the spool sits on top of the skate bearings, and it just moves effortless, effortlessly. And I thought, I want something like that for the Ender 3 as well. And excuse me here for holding the phone and for the vertical video. I know how much some people hate that, but that's what I got, so that's what we're going to do today. So, my first thing I printed was something from, first I tried to make something myself and failed miserably, <laughs> but that's another story. The next thing I tried were these plastic bearings. And you print two of them, and you can hear how it moves. You print two of them, you print an inner and an outer race, and then you fill it with plastic airsoft, six millimeter plastic airsoft BBs, which I happen to have a bottle of, a bottle of them floating around, and it's not bad. If I had to spend a lot of time smoothing it and maybe used steel or copper BBs, it would probably be better. But, and then you print, you print two of the bearings, you print two of these spacers, you glue them to the ends like that so that there's one on each end, and then that sits on this, and it fits into the spool. And I printed two of those, you see them down there, and I ran them on both Ender 3s for about a week. And I had problems getting the glue to stay together, and they only really fit properly in this one spool I've got. And all the other spools I've got, they don't fit. But I use a lot of this cheap PLA off a of supplier on eBay, and it did fit in those. But then I was finding that the whole thing was just spinning on this, and it wasn't using the bearing at all. And then I kept having problems with the glue coming apart. So I thought, I'm going to look for something better. So I found this thing on Thingiverse. Let me take it over and show you to it. Here it is here, and this is on Thingiverse by Hugo Huge, and I'll put a link to it below. And I'll put a link to the other bearing thing below too, in case you want to try it. And this isn't just for the Ender 3. This is a modular system, and you can see the different, the different, he got a wall mount for it, something that will fit on a board. He's got a thing that'll fit on it, just, you know, the regular 20 by 20 extrusions. And what you do is you print these, and it's modular, you print these separate pieces, and I'll show them to you over here. I printed two for my Ender 3s. You print, you print these pieces here. You print the center spindle, you print, and these are two separate pieces but I've glued them. Shockingly enough, they're actually staying together so far. This part down here, and then this part slides into this. I don't want to call it a dovetail, but it does the same thing as a dovetail. And you print the nut, and unfortunately that's not a stock Creality nut, so you'll need the nut. And you get yourself a couple of skate bearings. Where's the other one? There it is. If you don't have skate bearings, <laughs> go to eBay and buy yourself a bag of a bag of 20 or 50 of them. I think I bought a bag of 100 for 12.95. And then you put the bearings in the in the ends, and they fit a little snug, but not too badly. And that one's very snug. Oops, there it goes. You put the bearings in like that. That slides in there. Oops. There it goes. That slides in like that. 
this goes into the stock Ender 3 metal mount and you put the nut on and I got one over here here's one right here and you'll see I don't know if you can see it in the camera that turns very very easily and here's my roll of filament and you can see that's that's 90 percent of the friction gone now just got to get rid of the friction in this and the friction down there and I will have nearly a frictionless feed nothing's frictionless but it'll be a heck of a lot better than it than it was and it fits all my spools I've got this is my normal spool this black here that's on the other ender three this has a really big hole in it oops actually into the it fits in there works just fine and um, the only thing I have that it doesn't oh here's a here's a roll of nylon here that has an even smaller hole in it fits that fine the only thing it doesn't really fit is this roll of the what did I say this was Fox smart flexible that hole is too small for this it's too small for the stock the stock ender 3 part 2 for those I printed this up and um, that works well for it but I don't want to use those I want something that has no friction in it so I'm real happy with that they seem to be working out really well they've been on both printers now for a few days I just can't find anything to dislike about them and as I say it's modular you can change this mount out for something that will mount to an extrusion or something and replace this entire piece here as well or mounts to a wall or mounts to a piece of board he's got an adapter that will like mount it to the board up there and you can feed it directly off of the board if I wanted to so it's a really nice little little part kudos to um, Hugo huge and there will be a link below I hope you enjoyed this video maybe you don't hang out at Thingiverse looking for stuff like I do so maybe this is all new to you and that'll help you out a little bit I if you please like and subscribe and um, links to stuff will be below take care bye now